everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to Blinky Blogs. Today is Thursday the 4th of July. Uh, happy Independence Day to all my Americans out there. And today is the first time I have ever done something. Leaving Darcy at home for a very long time on his own in the backyard. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have to go to um, work today and then I'm having a visit from the orientation and mobility instructor from Guide Dogs Victoria um, to do some long cane work with me for the time between now and when I get uh, my new dog. So, in light of this fact, I actually can't take Darcy to work with me today. Um, he always comes with me out to the office. Um, I know that, you know, obviously he is retired from guiding work, so he doesn't um, do that for me. But, you know, every time he comes out with me, he's helping me with my, you know, with just the just being out and he's helping me with the emotional side and of things. He's he's company for me when I'm out. He's you know, he's just there and it's just lovely having that presence of, you know, your friend, you know, out with a friend all the time. And um so I'm very anxious about the fact that today's the first day I have ever gone out to my office in Merbein to Sunraysia Assistive Technology. Um, without Darcy and owing to the extended period of time that he's going to be home alone I would love to leave him in the house where it's warmer and it's more comfortable um, for him and everything like that but I don't have a place um, and I guess a secure place, a secure way of having him inside, but also giving him access to the backyard in case he needs to go to the toilet. And I don't know how long I'm going to be away exactly. It's 10 o'clock in the morning now and I'm, I'm just about to leave. And he could be here on his own for, you know, five or six hours. I might not be home until sort of four o'clock this afternoon. And that is far too long to leave him uh, at home on his own without access to the toilet. Um, so for the first time since I have had him, I'm getting prepared to, to shut him outside, to, to leave him in the backyard on his own. So we'll go and put him out the back and I'll show you how I've set up um, things for him out there. Boy, phone, get it. Good boy. Okay. Boy. So, come out here. Alright. So here's your bed. Yeah, good boy. On your bed. Good boy. And look. There's a drink. Yeah, and you've got your bone. Good boy. You got your bone? That's a bit close to the camera. Now go get you a treat. It's the important that they have food and water and something to engage themselves with, somewhere to sleep and somewhere to be comfortable um, and everything like that. But it's also important, especially if your dog um, suffers from a little bit of separation anxiety, it's also kind of important to give them a treat um, and a treat that they wouldn't ordinarily get so the other day I went and picked up 
these uh, dentist shoes, these dentist sticks from the supermarket. The other side of the packet in case I showed the wrong side. And so these are a good, um, a good thing for them to chew on. They're probably only about four or five inches long and they're good for them to chew on and they're good for their teeth and everything. So that is sort of the treat that I give him and I only give it to him when he's here on his own because that helps with reinforcing that being on his own out here is okay and everything like that. Bed. You're a good boy. Yeah. You stay here. You be good. You'll be all right. You guard the house, all right? Remember that book that we were reading last night? About how the guide dog in the book became the guard dog? Yeah? Well, you're the guard dog now, okay? You're the guard dog now. You're going to be a good guard dog? Good boy. You guard the house. You bark at all the dogs and everything. If you know how. You'll be alright. Now, I'm going to actually just only lock the screen door. I'm not going to shut the glass door because then he'll still be able to hear the clock and the cats and everything and the cats will be able to see him as well and they can bark and meow at each other and just you know through the door show each other that they're there so I hope this goes okay I'm so anxious about leaving him at home on his own out there for the first time hey ever all, so I'm back now um it's actually about two and a half hours since I got home when I got home um, I was with my orientation mobility instructor and we came in and I made a cup of tea and we sat down and talked and everything and the first thing I did when I got home was I let this guy in hey buddy boy how did you go outside hey did you have a good time hey where are you going? I'm trying to talk to you. Hey? Did you have a good time? You don't seem to be saying much. So I got back and I had a look on his bed and the um, dentist stick was all gone and I found a um, he had an old rubber bone that lives out the back um, and he had that sort of next to his bed so I don't know whether he found that and dragged it over or whether it was just there and I didn't notice it earlier. So he had an old rubber bone next to his bed and he also had his nyla bone uh, in his mouth. I was presented... Um, <clears throat> I was presented with the nyla bone when I came home actually but when I got home he was a little bit he wasn't quite as excited as I thought he would be um when I got home he was fairly like he came in and he wagged and he showed me his bone but then I think maybe because I had my instructor with me he was a little less sort of excited than maybe I was expecting him to be and then he went and put himself in bed um, in my room for a little while until I called him into the living room to sit with me. Um, but he seemed to have a good day. So I guess I can say that it was a success. I just, I wish I knew whether he barked at anything or whatever. I don't know. Maybe next time I leave him out in the back, I'll only leave him out there for like... I don't know, an hour or so, and I'll do like a, a time lapse video and put that in my vlog. That'd be interesting. Anyway, that is it for today's vlog, leaving my boy in the backyard on his own. I hope you enjoyed this, 
and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!